Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be restoring this Power Mac G4 and seeing what it's capable of. We'll be cleaning it up, disassembling it, and installing a fresh copy of Mac OS 10.4 Tiger. Let's get started. I brought this specific G4 on offer for $25. It's a dual 867 MHz model with an NVIDIA GeForce 4 MX series graphics card and three 80 GB paid off hard drives. It also has one GB of RAM and an upgraded 360 watt power supply, which means it hopefully won't be as loud as the other wind tunnel G4s. I began by cleaning off the entire assembly with a cloth. This removed most of the built up dirt and grime on the surface. I tackled most of the larger stains with a toothbrush, which worked pretty well. I then removed an apple sticker someone had placed on the top and cleaned off the residue. I also used some small q-tips and tweezers to clean out the ports and rear vents. Disassembling this computer is really easy thanks to this latch, which allows you to easily open the side door. After opening the door, you can access the GPU, RAM, and the rest of the internal components. I started out by cleaning the GPU and the FireWire expansion card next to it. After this, I cleaned off the fins on the heatsink along with the rest of the logic board. I also cleaned the IDE cables, fans, and the other various surfaces on the inside of the case. After restoring the hardware to near-perfect condition, I moved on to wiping the three hard drives and installing a fresh copy of Mac OS X Type. Even though Leopard will run on this system, it'll likely be a lot slower, so I opted to install Tiger. Since I didn't have access to a blank DVD, I had to create and install USB. To do this, I downloaded a Mac OS X Tiger ISO file, which I'll link in the description, and converted that file to a disk image using my iMac G5. After doing this, I erased my USB and formatted it as Apple Partition Map, which you'll need in order to boot on a PowerPC Mac. After this, I restored the image to the USB using Disk Utility. Then, I inserted it into the G4 and pressed Command Option OF after the BOM to get into open firmware. Then, I typed the following commands to get my USB's path. Dev USB 0, Dev Disk Out 1, and then PWD, or Print Working Directory. This will output the absolute path to your USB. Then we want to create an alias from that path to UD. So type dev alias UD and then the path to your disk. To finally boot from the drive, type boot UD colon comma backslash backslash colon TBXI. Once it booted from the USB drive, I erased and partitioned each of the disks and installed the operating system. Then I rebooted into a fresh install of Mac OS 10.4 Tiger. setup and installed the latest software updates. After this, I installed some programs, including Adobe Creative Suite 3, Office for Mac 2008, 104 Fox, and a few others. This Mac can easily do many productivity tasks, like composing documents, making presentations, and editing large spreadsheets. It can also run apps like Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign with relative ease. Well, that's it for this video. If you'd like to see more videos about vintage computers like this one, give this video a like and let me know down below. Thanks for watching and see y'all next time.